Hi, welcome to Baking in this Bitch with Lauren. I'm Lauren, and on today's ninth installment of this series, we will be making the world famous homophobic chicken. That is Chick fil A chicken nuggets. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. What is up, skaters? Today we will be making Chick fil A today. It rhymes, it's meant to be. Bought this this morning. This is Chick fil A nuggets. Just for comparison purposes, you know, we want to observe our subject before we make it. We want to make sure we replicate it as close as possible. What was that? So before we start, we have our specimen, our Chick-fil-A. I got this this morning in the drive-thru. So much anxiety and discomfort travels through my body when I am in a drive-thru. There's just so much going on up here. I pulled up at the drive-thru and ordered my meal. It was the only thing in my head was order an eight count nugget. That was all that was going through my head. So when she said, okay, your total is 4.15 today, I said, thanks you too. What? Thanks, that's not correct. She didn't owe me $4.15. Why did I say that? Yeah, so that was my quick nightmare this morning in the drive-thru and even worse, it was with like a 17 year old. So I felt even more embarrassed because whenever I'm surrounded by teenagers or anyone remotely close to my age, I become horribly anxious. But here's our specimen. Why am I calling it a specimen? It is not, this isn't a laboratory. This is um, our Chick-fil-A chicken. As we see, it's crispy. They have those little crisp, edges right there, those little, those little chewy, little yummy. So first up, we have our chicken breast. We are gonna cut her up into about one inch, one inch pieces. Then we're gonna get into the fun, the fun part. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, bit doom Boom, 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 did it doom I don't know, I just like knives. I just, there's something about them that that I really like. Now, as you see, I put on gloves because how can you handle this? How can you touch this without gloves? I'm actually a vegetarian. I have been a vegetarian for about three years, except for a few occasions. Like today, today I will be saying fuck you to the vegetable food group and eating chicken. I even went to a farm the other day to buy some farm fresh eggs and there were so many little little chickens running around having a great time and I just feel a little bad doing this. Oh my god, it already looks just like Chick-fil-A. So here we have our chicken, she's beautiful. So now for the interesting part, this ingredient caught me off guard is pickle juice. We are going to brine our chicken pieces in pickle juice. We don't have any pickles. Um, no, we don't have, all right. This will do. We don't have any pickles. I'm going to be using cherry pepper juice. Delicious, okay. Uh, that's about good. Let's throw our chicken in there. Yes. Oh my god, listen to that. We need about a half a cup of flour. Ugh, yum. Why do I say that about everything? It doesn't, didn't even smell like anything and I said yum. That was the wrong measurement. We actually need a cup. Milk, about a half a cup. Some smoked paprika for just a little bit of a, a little bit of a punch in our, in our nug nuggets. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that. Hello? What is that? That was my IBS medication alarm. One second. Medication. Boom. Mm. Dry solid that like a bitch. We wanna add a lot of pepper into there. Lots of pepper. And a good amount of salt, about a teaspoon, because we don't want bland shit, you know? Our recipe is calling for confectioner sugar. I've never heard of putting sugar in a chicken recipe. I'm always open to trying new things. So, so we just want about two teaspoons of that. And for a final touch of spice, we're going to add, oh, some cayenne. Oh my God, that came out very fast. Very, very fast. Now here's our concoction. It looks like the Swiss Alps covered in dirt and snow with a river of milk around it. So we're gonna mix her up, it looks good. Yeah. 
Wait a second. That was wrong. I wasn't supposed to add the milk to this bowl. This was supposed to be the flour mixture that I dipped it into after I dipped it into the milk. I hate myself. Why did it say then add the milk? Because I didn't read right, because I can't read, because I didn't read the recipe. Are you illiterate? Are you illiterate? Is there anything up here? Is there anything going on in your brain? There is not. There's nothing going on in my brain. I can't read. So I guess I have to waste all of this. Okay, problem solved. I just redid the mixture. Now it is just the dry mixture and we didn't even need the milk. Now we're gonna take our egg. Cracker, one-handed baby. These are napkins. So now, ew, our chicken seems to be having some sort of reaction to our brine. Why does it have stripes? Do you see that? I don't care. The worst that can happen is I get food poisoning and shit my brains out. I haven't gone in nine days anyway, so I need it. Our salmonella rotten chicken is brined. It is flavorful and delicious. I've now created an assembly line of sorts. We have our chicken. We're gonna dip our brine chicken into our egg mixture. And then we are going to place her into our flour mixture. Ladies and gentlemen, our nuggets have been coated and now for the fun part, we will be frying them. I'm just gonna have to squat like this because I can't get in the full frame. I believe my stove is broken, so I need to use this, this little blowtorch to light it up. Smells like gas, okay. Stop, oh, okay, there goes. Oh my God, I'm out of breath from beatboxing so fucking hard, okay. I've been looking at apartments in New York and Los Angeles and Brooklyn, that is in New York, because I, quite frankly, um, need my own space. I'm ready to grow some wings, grow them out of my shoulder blades and fly away like a beautiful dove, and then probably get homesick and come and visit back every um, month or so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Was I supposed to put breadcrumbs on these? So we're gonna let those cook. They're looking crispy, wow, they're looking crispy. I'm gonna add breadcrumbs to, to these ones, hold on. That one's definitely done. Oh my God, it looks just like Chick-fil-A. Oh my God. I just broke our salt shaker. <laughs> All right, loves, look at this. Holy shit, it looks just like Chick-fil-A. So the ones in the back here, as we see the lighter ones, I forgot to put breadcrumbs, even though the recipe didn't call for them, but then I added breadcrumbs and they came out golden and crisp. And that right there, that represents something. That represents America. That you can have light and you can have dark. And I bet they're both equally delicious. Um, what? Never mind. Okay, taste test. Um, I'm gonna pick like the crispiest looking one. Mm. All right. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for giving me this day. Thank you for giving me the ability to cook. Wow. What the fuck? I've said it once and I'll say it again. I am a chef and I will link the recipe that I created down below because I did not follow the recipe at all that I meant to because I can't read, as we found out. This is the best thing that we have ever created in this environment on baking this bitch. Chick-fil-A, if you would like to hire me as your head chef, my DMs are open, so slide in perhaps. They are always open for you. If you are new here, subscribe perhaps. I post every week and make sure to turn on post notifications because YouTube stays being a little bitch and doesn't tell you when I upload unless you have notifications on. With that being said, I will see you guys on Saturday or Sunday because I have another video coming. Bye, love you.